the first contest of the K1 Elimination Tournament. Both fighters now, referee just giving the repair their final instructions. A lovely ring girl just letting us all know the first round is about to get underway. Uh, out of the red corner, wearing the black and white stripy trunks, we have Kel Wilkern, who's fighting out of Pete Mercer's gym. And his opponent in the blue corner, uh, Athos Constandi. And this is professional K1 rules. Strong looking turning it coming in there from Wilkin. Constandi looking like he's working hands a little bit more. Saving his legs, referee again just keeping an eye on these guys. A stern look on Constandi's face there. Pure concentration in this corner, man. I can just hear behind me just telling him to relax, just calm down. Both fighters looking very focused. Big, strong couple of punches there. Big, strong right, followed by a nice left hook from Constandi, but it doesn't seem to uh, be taking Kevin Wilkin quite off of this game yet. Constandi again, very menacing, just trying to close the space down. A little bit of blood there now starting to appear on the face of Wilkin. Again, Constandi kind of coming in with these kind of front push kicks, right turning kicks, but then really unleashing the power, the, the most dangerous part of his arsenal at the moment. Definitely looks from his hands. Both these fighters again, just kind of feeling each other, trying to get comfortable with each other, just settling down into the pace. And again, the right hook there, just getting through there from Constandi. The pace. Just looking like it's starting to slow down a little bit now as these guys both just get a little bit more comfortable. A little barrage of shots, nothing really getting through from Constandi there, just all hitting the guard of Wilkin. And strong looking right turning kick there to the midsection from Wilkin. He tries for another one, but again just glancing across the gloves there of Constandi. Oh, and that was almost like a spinning. I look like a back fist shot. I don't know whether uh, spinning back fists are actually allowed in this particular form of competition. And I think uh, the referee, Chris Banchardall there, is just having a word with Wilker and just sort of saying, you know, no shots from the back of the gloves are allowed in this particular fight. And that's the end of the first round. Cracking stuff. In the new corner, we have Goss Constandi and Kevin Wilkin representing Pete Mercer Thai boxing, fighting out of the red corner. And again, that steely look in Constandi's face. Really looking focused and determined. Right cross there, I think, just not doing too much damage, but just slipping through the guard there of Wilkin. He wants to be a little bit careful not to let his hands drop in too low there, because these shots look dangerous from Constandi. They look, each one that's being thrown, there aren't any half measures coming out here. There's no feeler shots. Every single shot looks like it has the potential to end the fight. So Wilkin really do well to keep his hands nice and high, not let them slip too much. They're quite low, looking quite relaxed at the moment. Again, referee here, just ushering these two to uh, pick up the pace somewhat. Walking, although he's looking relaxed, kind of dancing his hands a little bit about, he, he, he does also seem a little bit hesitant to actually engage his opponent, and he's complaining of a bit of a low blow. I'm not quite sure that I saw anything there, but um, perhaps I missed it. Big shots again, everything, everything that Constandi's throwing here, really looking dangerous, but when the distance is closed down, Wilkins doing a good job of actually covering up. Nothing really is getting through. I think when he's feeling comfortable and he's got a nice distance between himself and his opponent, nice low kick there, just landing there on the, uh, on the outer thigh of Constandi, and you really want to be careful not to let too many of those low kicks get through. Straight away, I think, oh, solid shot there landing from Wilkin. That, that took him back a bit, and that, you can hear the momentum in the crowd. You know, they sort of started to sense that maybe that can be built on, but I don't think it's put left Constandi in too much, in too much trouble. But the point I was making earlier, if you look on the outside thigh of Constandi, he's only taken a couple of shots and already you can start to see the damage and the welting starting to appear there. You can already see the bruising. And then there's another low kick now. If you're not blocking enough of these low kicks, there's only several you can really take on the thigh before moving around becomes a bit tricky. So you really just needing to kind of check those kicks and not let them get through. And that's the end of the second round. Final round. OK, the third and final round just about to get underway here from Kevin Wilkern fighting out the red corner and his opponent Athos Constandi. It's been a fairly closely fought bout so far. It's pretty difficult to actually kind of call between two. Nice little right cross there just landed Constandi. Looked like, looked like it rocked him ever so slightly, but nothing, nothing, nothing too dangerous. 
Yeah, and Wilkin just losing his balance there slightly. Both looking for a way in. Wilkin looking a lot more engaged in this round. Perhaps he senses that it is really close and he really needs to take the fight to his opponent. You can hear the crowd, the momentum going. A little flurry of shots again, low kick there. I think it was more the outer toes kind of slapping against the leg there than the actual thigh into the, uh, the shin into the thigh. But nonetheless, there was no block, there was no checking effort from Stanley and it may be fairly early in his fight career, but that's definitely something to be worked on. Wilkin looking for a way in with those front kicks. Yeah, the pace sort, of set, pace sort of slowing down a little bit in Constandi, opening up those hands. Look at the blood starting to appear on the nose of Constandi there, so it looks like one of those shots, one of those shots got through. But then Kevin Wilkin answering back with a few big shots from himself. Oh, and a knee there to the head now, a few dangerous shots landed there. there. Definitely, definitely some damage now on the nose of Constanti. Solid jab there from Constanti, just getting through into Kevin Wilkin. Kevin Wilkin with a big sweep of the maker, not quite hitting the mark, and then exactly the same return from Constanti, but neither one quite close and down. And both of these guys now starting to show the effects of the fight. You can really start to see they're looking a bit tired now. And what you also have to remember is that one of these two fighters is going to have to then move on to a further round. So it's a fine art for pacing yourself for this fight because you don't want to completely exert yourself if you then have to go through to another round. But at the same time, you don't want to rest on your laurels and not do enough to actually secure the win in the first place. So both of these guys definitely looking like they're slowing down, really reaching optimistic kick there. Just way too much distance, telegraphed and coming from miles away. Never really going to be any danger of doing uh, too much damage or perhaps even hitting their opponent there. And that's the end of the third round. And uh, it's going to be a tough one to call, I think. After an incredible three rounds of professional cable action, the judges have reached a majority decision. So please put your hands together for the winner, Antoine!